guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting right to episodes 5 and 6 of Sound of Life. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I literally just woke up from a nap, so I'm sorry, just in case I yawn and anything, because I'm like, oh my god, I was supposed to do it like right after I finished um, watching Bobbity, but I got sleepy and I needed a nap like desperately, and then, you know, it's six o'clock going on seven, and I'm just like, shit. I was like, I gotta get this done. I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> I woke up, but I'm still a little sleepy. Please let us learn more about her mom today. I mean, girl. I just have so many questions about her mommy. We might actually see that other girl come in today's episode as well. She's the only member we're missing anyway, so... And yeah, because Jose didn't know that, and now she knows, and so I think she's gonna look and she goes, a little bit different, maybe, I don't know. Why did I honestly think that while she was going to run, she was going to break down and cry or, you know, her, her legs would have given out and she would just fall over? Speak of the devil. <laughs> oh, I know that feeling because that's what I have now. Fucking allergies. Well, she was just there a couple of minutes ago. Finally. Finally. Sounds beautiful. Oh, you're falling in love with them too, just like me. Oh yeah, we're still serious about that. Oh my god, I forgot. 
when you go on break and you literally like push all your shows away and you come back, you're like, oh shit, I forgot that happened. Oh, basically, when he was alone, you two were, like, listening on him. <laughs> well, she's just being honest, though. <laughs> no, honestly, it's not. It'll be okay. You guys are going to do fine. You got to love her, okay? <laughs> <sighs> <laughs> I know that feeling. I had that feeling the first time I did a video. <laughs> and I was so shaky after. <laughs>
such a dick. I really hate the fact that something bit me. Good luck. <laughs> well, I hope it moves you all, though. Or even leave you don't want to be here. Oh, my God. Exactly.
I don't get it now, but you'll get it later. Come here. Come over here. It's okay. Keep going. Dang it. Oh. <laughs> the boys love me so. Mm -hmm. It just feels like my heart just stopped like for a moment. Oh my god. Oh, well, he's not that young, little bit. Using for love.
fucking goosebumps. I can't. Oh, that was so beautiful. Jesus. My God. Mm -mm. I can't. I can't. Jesus. I, you know how, like, mm. Oh, God. The goosebumps that I'm getting. And God, I'm not shaking, but oh, my God. It was beautiful. Honestly, you, you could have, like, not talked. I could have not talked, like, the whole fucking episode. Just let the episode speak for itself. Oh God, it's so good. Jesus, I wasn't expecting all of that. Like my heart felt like it stopped. It felt like time stopped. It was just them and proving that yes, they're a group. They can perform together, even though yes. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. Um, they did mess up for a second. What was the key brought them all back together, and that was the good thing. There's usually always one person who can, in the end, bring everybody back together with one note, one sound, to get back on track. And I'm glad that was out there. It happened. I had a feeling somebody was going to mess up, but I was like, at the same time, I was a little debating with it. I was like, no, 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 I think everybody's going to be fine. Like, it's going to be okay. No one will mess up. But it happens. You never truly know, especially when it is your first performance, what the hell could happen. Whether you're making a video, you're uh, practicing for something, or doing the real thing. No matter what, you are going to mess up in some weird way. But if you do, just make it not as noticeable as you can. But, like, oh, God. It was such a good performance. Really good. Whatever bit me, I got bit bad. Okay, continuing. All right, so I feel like in this next episode, Hozuki's mother, her past and everything, it's going to show up. I still think it's more of, because of the fact is Hozuki has been um, in this for such a long time. Her mother is more of um, a tyrant. She's really hard on her and her students and such. I mean, because, like, remember, when they all went to go see the performance by Hosaki's mom's students and stuff, and the way that Hosaki's mom was talking to her students was not necessarily how I would want to talk to my students. You still want to give them a nice, like, be tough to them, but not too tough on them because of the fact that, come on, they're kids at the end of the day, and you can't really say, the harder you are with kids, I mean, it feels like, you know, you're, you're going to let someone down, and you're going to have a kid end up lashing at you because of the fact is it's all that pent up energy you've given to them you yelled at them you said this you said that they're going to take those harsh comments and they're either going to um take it out on themselves or possibly someone else or both and you don't want that to happen but truly with kids you never really know what in the world that they could be thinking of and so I hope that Jose he gets we get to see more about her because I have so many freaking questions. We're about to be six episodes in this damn show and still you've given me maybe this much answers on Jose Q's backstory and I need everything on her. <sighs> I'm glad just everything was okay, everything worked out, I'm happy, I'm satisfied. But yeah. Go ahead and pause the video and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six is three, two, one.
See, now I'm wondering, so it's going to get frustrated. Apologize. Is that my name? She said, are they going to argue? So, probably, yes. Because still, that relationship with the chemistry is going to happen. Ah, <sighs> 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 Of course. I mean, it makes sense for him to go ahead and ask now, and then everybody's just like, that upbringing of like, yes, oh my god, we did so freaking good, like, hell yeah, we can do anything! Do you not want it though? Well, you still want to know it. I think it'll be fine. Uh, besides whiskey. <laughs> His initials? Yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, the key is so cute. Still being hard at it. My thing is, why would he wait until now between last, this five and six to freaking come up? I mean, why didn't he come up at the beginning of the damn series? But no. <laughs> you can't kick a teacher's butt as much as we all wanted to in high school. You cannot do it no matter what they say. <laughs> I can say this, but teachers are dicks. But the the reason why he it's a reason. There has to be a reason why he's like this. Oh, who's the key? Yes.
Oops, away. Well, of course. Hmm? Yeah, I can be alone now. Sweet. Okay, number one, I do not like that face Yoro just made. Something about that ain't right to me. Mm, a little suspicious about it right now. Still acting though. Okay, hold up. I got a weird feeling that Hiro and Hoseki, they, they've done something. They, they had to be together. Something. I don't know. Because why is she acting a certain type of way around here? Can't trust her little cute behind right now. Yeah. That too. I mean, it would have been better if you left it at home or with the old lady. No, but somebody could come in and steal it or just mess with it or break it. Exactly. So you have to take it home. Thank you. You guys are a little too relaxed, but I get the fight. <laughs> it's okay. 
It was your first time doing it in a while, but still, you did good. That's what I want to know. I just triggered her just like that. Let me guess, the hose is here, right? Mm -hmm. That makes the best sense for you to go do it. Yeah. You're not looking at you as a delinquent anymore, so that's good. Maybe all of you should go over and check her out. She's so lying. No, I... It wasn't you, it was Ahiro. So just go over and talk to her. See, I want to say here was one of the little girls that, you know, used to possibly play with. I'm just okay. I'm not 100% sure, but it has to be. And of course, you're not going to say it. you got to wait until the next fucking episode. Hello? Remember, she is rich. Mm-hmm. Oh.
Nope, there she is. Okay. Thumbs up. You got some explaining to do. There's got to be something. From whatever freaking kiddo's mom or grandma, whoever was saying, it's something to do with maybe. Business isn't, it, it isn't as good as it used to. I don't know. It's just a lot of unanswered questions. And, you know, it's only with a certain amount of time and less than 30 minutes to get all those questions answered. But, of course. You gotta wait until episode 7 and 8 to get those answered, but still, it's a little fucked up because it makes me wonder why in the world Hoseki didn't confine in them and tell them the truth. Maybe she just felt a little too ashamed because of it. I'm not 100% sure. It literally could be anything. I mean, she said that she was freaking rich. I wasn't expecting that, but then a little bit at the same time, I kind of was. So now why? I mean... This conversation between <laughs> I don't know, it's gonna be a little awkward, but I think it's gonna be something they're gonna argue and they're both gonna have to say something that they both have been wanting to say for a while, but I don't know. I don't think it's gonna be like an interrogation or an intervention or anything, but I feel like little Miss Hiddle over on the side, she's gonna use this to her advantage. There's something between them, between her and Hoseki. I'm not sure what it is. Finally. Freaking finally. Oh my god. Thank you. But the fact is that I gotta wait until possibly this weekend. Okay, but then the biggest thing is I wanna know. Are they sisters? It would make sense if they were, but then I feel like they're just both, um... Like, not really childhood friends, but just childhood, um teammates who were on the same in the same group and stuff and maybe she's doing this to get revenge on her or something it's got to be something but they have a connection and of course we're not really going to know until next freaking week which sucks but uh, hell i might not even know until this friday because i don't know if i'll be able to record it on friday either this friday or other week i don't know but i, I got so many unanswered questions with her who knows y'all know y'all know all these people watching right now you know I don't know anything. I'm not gonna know anything until next week. I mean, I could say fuck it and just, like, find a little sneak peek, but I'm not gonna do that because that's cheating and I don't want to cheat. I want to find out on my own and stuff, and it's worse with some things. But whatever it is, I, I think it's gonna be highly... Uh, next week's maybe gonna be a very emotional episode for really both of them, but who knows. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episodes 5 and 6 of Sound of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreons. And next Tuesday for everybody else for episodes 7 and 8. Bye, guys.